वंस अगेन लास्ट वीक गोल्ड ट्रेडेड विद मॉडरेटली बुलिश बायस एंड यस इट हैज फॉलन शाय ऑफ द क्रिटिकल रेजिस्टेंस एट 1948 फोर्टी इट इज अचीव क्लोज टू नाइनटीन बट did not go past 1940 if you recall my last week's analysis in fact few days back analysis i had told several times 1940 1950 is a very strong resistance zone it has been proven again yes it is giving it a good resistance now what to expect next week we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of this analysis i will give you the trading strategy and levels for next week do watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels and do press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the daily analysis for gold i share twice a day and yes the weekly analysis for global markets and commodities as well so do watch those analysis let's start so we'll uh, discuss observation by observation see last week scandal you can say that bullishness has certainly diminished here after strong bullish candles increasingly bullish candles for multiple weeks here you can say that gold is finally trying to settle down a bit yes it is overbought that i will touch upon when i go to indicators however this also reflects that it has got support on the downside now see this is definitely a very strong support and anyway 1740 is there for the month of january we all know i have told you since the beginning of the month that gold trading above 1824 is going to hit 1940 levels this we had discussed several times 1920 in fact was the first target and 1940 50 was the second target it has precisely achieved these levels now see for the month definitely few only few trading sessions are left but it will not try to attempt and achieve these level this is for sure we discuss one more thing that before dropping it may take gold uh, at a certain high level so that the retracement will fail to break past this zone so yes there is a possibility of a retracement however now 1870 levels is something i will definitely watch out for possibility exists that it can fall till towards these levels before looking forward to a retracement again or before resuming the bull run now this is on the weekly charts also look at this a strong bullish candles here then sideways movement for a while and now this breakout so this is a breakout which is possibly going to continue for a while as those who watched my annual prediction i had told that possibility exists that either it may achieve 2000 and beyond that possibility of it to achieve 2100 levels or uh, beyond levels are also possible in first 3 months of this calendar year so this is one part to it and this is on the daily charts weekly charts and see what is this trend line you can see gold has been trading in between this for years now see this is a 20 12, 12 high and this is the high which we had seen in 2021 22 and if you see the bottom there see multiple times gold has got the support around these levels and if you look at these two highs just connecting these two it is possible that it may try to attempt and achieve these levels at 2050 so lower highs lower lows that is what so this is uh, anyways those who want to see it in detail should watch my yearly prediction which i have shared in the beginning of this month now let me take you to the daily chart now on the daily charts 1880 and 1870 this is the pit stop for gold if it continues if it resumes its downward journey so first support at 1880 then 1870 and then this levels at 1860 50 will come into picture on the upside just look at last three candles higher lows higher highs and specifically look at the last candle which is red in color yes it was a bearish candle with a slight drop achieving though it has achieved the high second is it has fallen shy of the previous high so it has fallen shy to achieve the highs of this channel it means that the bulls are getting a little resistance on the downside however remember this fact 3 to 4 retracement candles then a bullish reversal and then this minor minor red candle so if it opens flat trades above 19 30 levels again you can expect that this time possibly it may try to go past 1940 and 
if you see it trading above 1944 you can expect that we may see 1950 levels in next week and beyond 1950 there is further bullishness which can be expected as i have shared earlier several times 1975 and 2000 dollars this is going to be the next target yes there could be minor retracement in between but however the long term target is going to remain at 2000 and 2000 plus plus levels now on the downside now on the downside it has to trade below this zone at 1920 next week once it trades below 1920 one can again expect first 1920 and then here at 1910 this zone is going to remain important any breakout below 1910 you can expect that gold is trying to reverse and we can expect possibly 1880 levels in next week itself this is on the daily charts now let me take you to the monthly can on the monthly charts few weeks back we talked about a triple bottom in gold and when see if you are creating a building if the base is strong with three strong pillars there definitely the building can sustain the highs now see in these three months it has recovered the losses for last seven months one two three four five six six months and the seventh month losses are also going to get covered also if you look at see this closing of these candles 1940 so possibility towards the end of the month it can try to achieve these levels and if it breaks past 1950 we can expect that it can in fact go till towards these levels now how high it can go if it continues to trade bullish though i will expect a little retracement on the downside but how high it can fly see this previous candle 1640 to 1770 level almost 130 dollars and here 1820 to 1950 almost 130 dollars so this candle size can equally remain of same size and hence possibly 1950 levels might get achieved towards the end of the month hence because after next week only couple of trading sessions will be left so possibly possibility exists that it can achieve those levels before retracing a bit now we have seen the charts let's have a look with the help of indicators also if you want to learn the art of trading profitably if you want to learn the same way of analysis identifying profitable trades and if you want to learn the strategies which can make you help uh, help you become a profitable and proficient trader reach out to me join my mentorship where the 19th batch is going to start in first week of february do not miss this opportunity reach out to me for more details on same my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the video description also if you scroll down and also you'll find the same in my channel description only and only reach out to the authentic mail ids and the contact details mentioned below now let's start with the indicators on the daily charts indicators yes the bollinger bands have expanded the top of this bollinger bands now at around 1955 60 levels and another observation here first the 20 50 100 period moving average are increasingly divergent here indicating increasing bullishness second the width or the movement of gold far from the 20 period moving average also indicating increasing bullishness that is one part yes see now the 20 period this also makes an 1870 1880 zone as a very strong support this is the 20 period moving average and you can see for multiple days for many days 20 period moving average have provided it a very strong support so even if it tries to trade bearish 1870 levels are certainly be a very good support see directional movement is bullish here it is trying to convert the stock i stick has seen a little drop here the macd is trading bullish it is trying to converge a bit here you can see also the levels of macd if you see uh there is still a little probability but it is trying to converse so once it crosses over possibly it can start a downward trend for a little while but before that i expect it to achieve higher highs look at rsi rsi is trading overbought on the daily charts now being overbought on the daily charts is also increases the probability for it to retrace a little on the downside so just we need to observe see this were the times you it you can see multiple days it is sustained continuously increasingly overbought levels and this can also be seen here for gold and hence we need to remain a little cautious now let's have a look at the weekly charts 
Now look at the weekly charts here. See the 20 period moving average, 50 period and 100 period moving average situated at around 1800. Very strong support. Next, the 20 period moving average has started converging here. So possibility exists that once it crosses over, we can say further, we can see further bullish momentum in gold for near future. Second thing is, it is trading outside Bollinger Bands consistently increasing the width of the Bollinger Band. That is the second part. Achieving higher highs last week, it indicates that it still has got little bullishness. So once it trades above 1930, you can expect at least we may see 1950 levels in gold next week. And once it trades above 1950, still the next target is 1961-1975 levels. This is one part to it. Also look at the directional movement increasingly divergent and bullish. The stock IST has seen overbought levels here once again. But let me take you into the history a bit. See this was the times. Consistently how many candles it is sustained. Let me show you before looking forward to a drop. See almost 5 to one, two, three, four, four increasingly bullish candle it has sustained before it looks over to a drop there and then it has shown a sharp drop. This time it has stretched a bit. This is the fourth candle. So, yes, uh, it can sustain a fifth candle. However, chances are high that it can retrace on the downside possibly. Now, look at the MACD. This is increasingly divergent and bullish showing the strength there. It's still indicating bullishness. RSI again entering into overbought zone. It has not yet entered into overbought levels. Now look at the monthly charts trading near to the highs of the Bollinger Band situated at around 1960 levels. Directional movement have crossed over again. It is trading divergent after trading bullish for a while. It is for, for a few months it is crossed over for sell and now again it is increasingly diverge. The stock stick has come to overbought levels on the monthly chart the variance is sitting low and hence possibly next couple of months it may continue with this bullish momentum the MACD also trying to converge crossover for the bullish move it can sustain this bullishness RSI forming a v-shape here and possibly from here it can again enter into overbought zone for next couple of months hence yes it has still got bullishness there but now let me give you the trading levels and strategy for next to conclude here, one thing is very clear that uh, yes, it is overbought. Yes, gold is overbought ha, and it is also near to the critical resistance zone. So only and only if it so, trades above the resistance zone between 1946-50 and for the next week 1960 also. Only and only if it trades above 1960, you can be assured that it is going to hit 2000 levels also. So yes, it can stress the bullishness a bit as once it starts bullish, once the buyers get into, people hardly try to sell the commodity and it will take a single red candle to, you know, reverse the trend. But right now it is still trying to trade with the bullish bias. We have seen in the daily movements also. So, yes, also, uh, there is some point which will come in next few days, maybe couple of weeks or at max, where it is, it will take a U-turn and it will retrace the, on the downside and hence you should trade with caution on the upside for now yes if it is bullish keep closing with the little profits and keep re-entering such that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit so trade with the tail stop loss and trade with the tailing stop loss so now for next week yes if you see it trading at 1931 you can buy but then i will expect 1940 as the first target and beyond that 1950 as the next target now see, very important thing here, these two levels are important for gold, only if it trades above 1950, in fact, beyond that, 1957 and 1961, these two are very, very nearby and very strong levels here also. If it trades above this, I will expect it to hit 1975 the next target and then 2000 the next target if it continues to trade bullish from here it may try to attempt and achieve in the month of january itself but this zone is certainly very very important here these levels are very 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 important and hence you should keep closing at every level 
and you can re-enter again. Also for daily analysis, you should watch the daily targets which I share and the daily entry price as well, which will give you further clear picture for gold. Once with the Asia session, next with the US session. So twice a day I update the targets and range. So yes, this is a broad analysis which I am sharing. On the downside, where to sell? Here I will recommend you to sell at 1918 levels below which you can expect it may try to hit 1910. First support and a very good support. Then 1901, next support. 1895, third and then 1890 till here it's fine it has got a good support there then will come the most strongest of the supports there 1880 and 1870 only and only if it trades below 1880 and 1870 you can consider that there is little bearishness in gold which might pitch in and the sellers might enter there so only and only if it breaks past 1870-80 zone, I will consider this as little bearish. Then I will look forward to 1840 and 1820 levels, which I don't think that in the month of January for next 7 trading sessions, we are going to see 1820 levels. I don't think so. Yes, even if it tries to retrace, there is a possibility of a reversal here. And hence, you should trade with caution, trade with a stop loss, trade with a tailing stop loss. On the upside and downside both as well as it can again show you little things. Possibility exists that it is overbought. Possibility exists that it can achieve little highs before it looks over to a drop. Trade with caution. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trading stop, stop loss. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Trading week ahead. Join my mentorship badge. Join my signals group. Reach out to me for more details. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week.